Hello my dear students welcome to my youtube channel the concepts of chemistry before starting today's lecture please do subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to get the regular updates of the upcoming lecture my dear students today's topic for the lecture is why carbon dioxide co2 is non polar and sulfur dioxide so2 is polar to evaluate the extent of polarity we usually add the vectors according to their directions that means we have to evaluate the resultant vector in the carbon dioxide molecule so i'm writing to evaluate the extent of polarity extent of polarity comma we have to find the resultant vector the resultant vector of all the vectors or we can say dipoles present in the molecule let's take the carbon dioxide molecule let's talk about carbon dioxide it's co2 here the central atom is carbon so we have to talk about the hybridization of carbon which comes out to be sp in case of co2 molecule now whenever any molecule has the sp hybridization the structure of that molecule will be linear so let's make the linear structure of carbon dioxide that's of a carbon that's the double bond o and that's the another double bond o with a bond angle of 180 degrees now in the bond between carbon and oxygen oxygen is more electronegative than carbon so oxygen is going to attract shared pair of electron towards itself they by oxygen will acquire a delta negative charge and carbon will acquire a delta positive charge so the vector or the dipole of carbon dioxide molecule will be in this direction that is towards oxygen so this thing is called we can call it as a vector or we can also call it dipole or there's one more name that's called bond moment so we got the first vector of first polar bond between the oxygen and the carbon now let's talk about the another oxygen the another oxygen is also again more electron negative than carbon so it's going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself they by acquiring delta negative charge and carbon will acquire a delta positive charge so in this case also the direction of dipole or we can say the direction of the vector or the bond moment will be opposite to the sorry will be opposite to the first bond moment so we got the two vectors or the two dipoles or we can say the two bond moments in opposite direction thereby these two bonds moment these two vectors will cancel each other these two vectors will cancel each other so the bond moment or the, we can say the resultant bond moment or the resultant vector the 
resultant vector for CO2 molecule comes out to be zero. So the dipole moment of CO2 molecule will be zero. I am writing it whole. The dipole moment of CO2 molecule will be zero. So if dipole moment is zero, it signifies that carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule. So carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule because the resultant vector of these two vectors that are present in carbon dioxide molecule comes out to be zero because these two vectors are cancelling each other. So bond moment or we can say the dipole moment of the CO2 molecule comes out to be zero. So carbon dioxide is a non-polar molecule. Now let's talk about the sulfur dioxide. Now let's talk about sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide. Sulfur dioxide is SO2. In SO2 molecule, the central element is sulfur. Central element is sulfur. So we have to talk about the hybridization of sulfur in SO2 molecule, which comes out to be sp2 so the standard geometry for sp2 hybridization is trigonal trigonal planar but in the case of so2 molecule one of the position will be occupied by lone pair so the name of geometry will be bent or v shape to understand this topic please go back to the topics of hybridization and uh, listen to them very carefully now let's make the structure of the so2 molecule that's the sulfur that's the first double bond o that's the another double bond o and that's the lone pair of electrons so in this case also oxygen is more sulfur more electronegative than sulfur so in this case also oxygen is going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself they by oxygen will acquire a delta negative charge and sulfur will acquire a delta positive charge so the direction of the dipole or we can say vector will be in this direction that is towards the oxygen now let's talk about the second double bond o with the sulfur in that case also oxygen is more electronegative than sulfur so oxygen is going to attract the shared pair of electron towards itself they by oxygen will acquire a delta negative charge and sulfur will acquire a delta positive charge due to which what's gonna happen the direction of vector or the dipole will be in this direction that is towards oxygen now we got the two vectors or we can say we got the two bond moments now here lone pair plays a very important role the lone pair will also have a vectorial direction but will be in opposite direction towards the central element and it will be in this direction so this is called lone pair moment we got the two bond moments and one lone pair moment i am writing that's called lone pair moment and uh, this is our bond moment 
or we can say vector and that's another bond moment or we can say another vector now but here the point is the very important point is that lone pair moment or we can say magnitude magnitude of lone pair moment is always greater than magnitude of bond moments due to which what's gonna happen in this case all the moments that is one lone pair moment and two bond pair moments are in opposite direction but they are not cancelling each other completely because the magnitude of lone pair moment is greater than the magnitude of bond pair moment so i am writing the three vectors the three vectors which one that is one lone pair moment and two bond pair moments are in opposite direction to each other are in opposite directions to each other but they are not cancelling each other completely cancelling each other completely why so because the magnitude of lone pair moment is greater than the magnitude of bond moment or the bond pair moment so in this case the resultant vector will not be zero i am writing so in this case resultant vector will not be zero that means here dipole moment we can say mu will be greater than 0 or with a positive value so here resultant vector will not be 0 or we can also say will be greater than 0 more appropriately you can say the resultant vector will be greater than 0 so the dipole moment will be greater than 0 which signifies that there must be some positive value of the dipole moment in case of SO2 molecule. So, SO2 will be regarded as the polar molecule. So, SO2 will be polar molecule because here the dipole moment is greater than 0 or we can say it's having the positive values because in case of SO2 molecules we were having the three vectors out of which one is the lone pair moment and the another two are the bond pair moment these three vectors are in opposite direction but the magnitude of lone pair moment is greater than the magnitude of bond pair moment due to which these three vectors are not cancelling each other completely so in this case the resultant vector will be greater than the zero or we can say the dipole moment will come out to be greater than zero or with a positive value so so2 molecule is a polar molecule but in case of carbon dioxide molecule in case of carbon dioxide molecule we were having the linear geometry and we were having the two vectors but these two vectors were in the opposite direction to each other thereby cancelling each other so the resultant vector will be of zero value or we can say the dipole moment come out to be zero so it is a non-polar molecule the dipole moment what's the dipole moment dipole moment is the property that measures the extent of polarity but dipole moment is 
a directional property it depends upon the directions of the vectors or we can say the dipoles or we can say the directions of the polar bonds in a molecule so that's all about for today's lecture i hope you all understood today's lecture if any student wants to book a paid one to one online class to clear their doubts then he she can contact me my phone number is mentioned on thumbnail of this lecture please do like subscribe and share this channel to maximum number of students don't forget to press the subscribe button stay blessed